I suppose my personal attitude to food comes from the fact that although I myself, if I had to um, exist from the products of the soil, I would starve. I have absolutely no idea how to produce food. And yet, of course, if I go back four or five generations, my ancestors, certainly on my father's side, they were all farmers, you know. Um, they lived on the land. It was a very hard labour, I believe. Um, it always seemed to me that um, the best thing that happened to my family was when my great great whatever grandfather was bankrupted in a big flood that destroyed his farm and the next generation left the land and <laughs> forgot all about how to live on the land and this is I think I'm talking about this because it's the background of an awful lot of us you know most people today if you trace your ancestors back far enough they were able to live off the land in a way that almost none of us can do today Another thing that um, in my own personal life has, I guess, influenced me and that is rather different to what people experience now is that um, because I was born during the Second World War and grew up after the Second World War in Britain where food was rationed, I mean, food was not obviously short, you know, everybody was well fed. In some ways, under socialist food rationing, we were better fed than we are now. At least the, um, there was more equality across the country because, you know, food was rationed, everybody had the entitlement to the food that was rationed. And I could just about remember at the age of five or six, um, we had a new government that came in, they didn't believe in rationing food, they didn't think it was necessary anymore. Now my mother had just given me for the first time my own ration book to man. You know, you had a book with a coupon to tear out, one coupon per week, and she gave me my own sweet ration book. So. And then the new government came in, they abolished food rationing, and they took away my ration book. <laughs> so that's my view of food, and I think it's so different from today when, you know, we have a crazy abundance and variety of food which is produced in very expensive ways, flown in from all over the planet. But we also have far greater social inequality. We have, um, I think, you know, people even in the most advanced societies, obviously I don't know about Portugal, but I do know about Britain, my own country. We have food banks that people need to go to because they are so desperately short of food to, fill their f to feed their families. And this did not happen at a time when the whole country was supposed to be short of food just 60 years ago. So life has changed. Uh, there's more food around, but whether we actually eat better Probably, probably not, and um, whether it's going to get better in the future, well, that's what we're here to discuss.